Furthermore, we have um, also developed a system that we call K Kopman, which stands for Knowledge Enabled uh, 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 Perception System. Um, it actually works um, in two manners. It has a uh, active perception and a passive perception. So active perception basically means we instruct the robot, go uh, look for the object of type ICT, for instance, and the object actually spins around as long, so long until it finds it. The pa passive perception module basically maps or, and observes, maps the environment while the robot is active all the time and then enables uh, the, the, the logical queries um, which I have uh, shown you before on, on the previous slide. Um, that system is actually a combination of uh, three modules. So of the perception module, of the module no rob, which I'm going to talk about later on, and the, 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 the module uh, for the probabilistic inferences. So all of them, so the, the prolog query that is actually listed here and colored in different colors uh, belongs to each one of these uh, three modules. So here, once again, this, the, uh, the, the augmented uh, scene from the previous slide. Um, so we basically see um, the percepts um, abstracted in the sub-symbolic and the symbolic level. So this corresponds to the green color here. Then in blue, we actually have the knowledge that we obtain from the uh, NORAP system, so our knowledge component uh, that works with description logics. And here we have the machine learning techniques. In this case, for instance, we have a BLN, a Bayesian Logical Network Model, um, which um, in, in, in the case of the query for missing objects, where we were inferring the objects that were missing on the, on the table for the breakfast, for instance, uh, was learned from the opinion of six individuals, where we asked them what are their preferences, um, what, what do they normally eat for the breakfast. And then we actually trained the, the, the BLN model and were able to infer, for instance, if we had on the table, uh, um, let's say, a cereal box and the milk, we're actually able to infer that the, the utility that is missing there is, for instance, bowl and a spoon, which is um, pretty common sense, uh, but of course has to be provided somehow to the robot. So this was the, the uh, perception component. The second component that we're going to contribute to um, is a knowledge processing. So our NORAP system, which I have already mentioned uh, throughout the first part. Um, so it basically provides the terminologi terminological knowledge. It's very pragmatic since we're using uh, Prolog as, as a main language, which enables all these fast and lightweight queries. Um, all the objects in these systems are modeled as OWL. And we also have come up with our own language, um, which we coined semantic robot description language, and basically um, enables us to model uh, robots' capabilities in it, for instance. Um, it has a very nice uh, graphical interface. So the package is actually already in, in ROS. So if somebody wants to uh, give it a try and deploys different machine learning techniques, such as statistical relational learning and reasoning, for instance. Um, we actually see um, the whole system here on the left. I'm not going to go into depth. Maybe just uh, going to tell you what uh, we have already used it for and what um, we uh, make it available to ROS community for. Um, so we have a back at Tomb, we have a perception system um, that does the human motion tracking, uh, um, marked as human motion tracking, so only from cameras. And in this um, system, we are actually able um, to visualize uh, the trajectories and reason about the human movements in the environment. Furthermore, um, previously presented missing object uh, um, scenario where we had the, 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 the table, for instance, we, that was incompletely set for a breakfast, and then we inferred the missing objects. So the red one here, here are the objects that were put on the table, and the green one are the missing ones. I'm not really sure for which scene we have said this, so I cannot really comment. Uh, further or, furthermore, uh, we can actually uh, query and, and uh, reason about the action-related places, which is basically places that are uh, typical for the robot to stand at while it is performing certain type of actions, such as opening the cupboard or setting the table. 
And what the system can also do, it can actually query uh, World Wide Web and um, obtain instructions from the natural language. So in this case, we have actually used wikihow.com uh, web page where there is a already uh, provided instruction on how to set the table. And we have uh, yeah, written a parser and then converted the natural language into the uh, uh, um, program that the, that the robot can actually execute. execute. Um, here one more example on how the uh, semantic maps can be actually utilized. So we have a point cloud. Then we classify um, the surface types in this point cloud and infer um, and with some help of the rule-based learning, we inferred which objects, which objects are um, in the environment that, that was uh, captured here. And then in the combination with the common sense knowledge that comes from the sources uh, such as wikihow on ehow.com and action-related uh, uh, um, knowledge that comes uh, from observing of human, uh, the robot can actually infer, um, um, yeah, which action to do at which places and at which time, for instance. A very powerful feature of this NoRob system is also computable. So computable is a logical predicate that is computed on demand. Um, so it, it basically resembles a so-called pool obtaining of the knowledge instead of push. So we, we, we are not flooded all the time with all the information that the robot observes. And uh, an example of such a query is demonstrated here, where we, for instance, uh, use the localization information from the robot to um, actually infer um, its location. Uh, last but not least, um, we are also working on the simulation. And uh, for instance, here I have an example uh, from my colleague, Mihai Dolha, that created a human model in the simulation and uh, played back the movements uh, of a human that were captured previously with our uh, markerless um, human motion tracker. So this can be, for instance, used um, to test out the human-robot interaction in the simulation and then start it um, in the a uh, real scenario, for instance. So this is not yet in Rust, but Mihai is at the moment um, committing to port this back. So, and then uh, basically the main component or the central component of the whole proposal is the one that our colleague Lawrence uh, develop, develops. Um, it's a called CREM plan, plan language, which is a high level programming language for autonomous robot control. And it actually specifies how the robot is to react to different percepts, events, successes, and failures. Um, it can do this reactively. It can do this uh, concurrently. And um, yeah, it can also deal with all the uh, uh, structures, such as object descriptions, failure descriptions, and uh, control processes. So an example that we have here is, uh, um, is, is uh, how to convert an execution trace of such a control language um, into the uh, first, first order logic uh, uh, queries, for instance. Here we have a simulation, and the, the robot's task was, for instance, uh, to set the table for two people. Yeah, so the, the whole system actually allows for reasoning, so the teleological and causal one, uh, predictions, and also the transformation of plans. So in, in the highly dynamic and convex environment, such as the household environment is, for instance, this is an absolutely necessary feature. Yeah. Here is the team or the group of the people that, it's going to, that has committed uh, to the project and it's going to work for it. Um, here are the references, so our web page, uh, uh, our Tumros package, and uh, the YouTube channel. And of course, we would be happy if you could uh, talk to us also later on for maybe things that you didn't really understand from my talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>